Uh, hi folks, I thought I'd play my third period of my game seven between Edmonton and Vegas. Right now, as you can see, it is 2-1 for the Edmonton Oilers. They've really outshot Vegas in the first two periods, 27-19. to He's also had seven goalie ratings to Vegas's nothing. So going to the third period, we're going to start off with a penalty. I like to keep the video short. So um, that's why uh, we're just going to do the third period. Um, so in the penalty box is Nicholas Haig, and we're going to have a face-off. So from the draw, face-off number 20, that means a visitor gets thrown out. Uh, number 14, so the face-off will be Nugent Hopkins against Carlson. Nugent Hopkins is a one, and Carlson is a three, but on the power play, you add three. So that would make plus one Oilers, and a 14 would be inferior left winger. So Riley Smith picks it up and will mark off four, two, three, four, for losing the faceoff, and they're just going to ice the puck. And puck is iced, power play team outside shot only. So two, three, four, puck is going to be iced. And outside shot only for Dreisaitl. So Dreisaitl is going to get the outside shot. And we roll a four, and save goes over to the right defense. So we're going to mark off a shot for dry saddle. I do keep stats. And puck goes to Peter Angelo. He's just going to ice it, and he does. Puck iced, power play team um, has control, outside shot only. So one, two, three, four. We keep it on the last uh, marker. Outside shot only for Hyman. So the end of the penalty is coming, but he still gets to take advantage of his stars. So here's the shot by Hyman. And it's a two, and it is going to be a goal, 1-15. to 15. We roll the 12. Hyman scores on the power play in the most improbable of ways. Oh, my gosh. So Edmonton puts it in a power play goal. Zach Hyman outside one to 15, two cards in. So the way you do the timing is you add up your last two cards. 10 and two is 12. And then you go to the timer. So two cards is 40 seconds. So 40 plus the 12. At 52 second mark, the Edmonton Oilers have now taken a three to one lead. Uh, the assists are gonna go to any player with a six. McDavid is a 10. Dry Settle is an 8. Um, so we'll give it to McDavid. He's the He's got more. So basically that's how I do that. I'm not sure how you guys do it when they both qualify. So Hyman picks it up on the power play from McDavid. If you do something different on the assist, let me know. It's always good to hear from people in the chat or in the comments section. So a big goal there for the Oilers. And... They now take a three to one lead into this third period. And we're going to get the fourth lines off a costly penalty by Nicholas Haig, especially against the fourth line of the Oilers. You just can't have that happen. And Carlson Riley Smith are going to go off. And this fourth line of Vegas is going to go off. We're going to bring out Haig with head held down in shame uh vegas is going to go 2-2 two, two. oilers are going to do 2-1 you can't see it off camera but they'll be a 2-1 for edmonton and here we go from the face off face off is a 13 we have a plus one against the plus one so we're even that is going to go to the visitor left winger so fogel picks up the puck and it's going to be two against two opponent defense four uh, Kessel, inside shot for center, intimidate with the right defense. So Bukestad has a chance to shoot. Haig's going to have to intimidate one to five. He doesn't do it. Here's the shot by Bukestad. It is a five, and it is going to be a goalie rating. Bukestad's going to shoot on Aiden Hill. A nine on Aiden Hill's card is a save. Any player gets control. So Bukestad with the shot, it goes to anybody they want. And Janmark is a one. I think that's who we're going to try and pick on, try and get a scoring chance. So Carrier is going to get the puck. It's 
It's going to be two against one, and it is going to be opponent defense 11. So Janmark is getting a penalty. Uh, we'll just use the card for the penalty. It's a nine. That is going to be two minutes. So Janmark picks up a penalty, a chance for Vegas to come off. So we mark off three cards, put the end of penalty inside there. And Janmark picks up the penalty. We'll mark it down. It is going to be Vegas's second power play so the way i play it is the way the cards do it you get your top two lines coming out for the first two power plays and then you rotate it from that point on i know the computer game's a little bit different but i kind of like this one so we're gonna have peter angelo coming out with theodore and eichel stone and march so to kill it for the oilers we're gonna go with dry Simply because of the power play, he's plus three on the faceoff. If you can get that plus four and Ryan Nugent Hopkins and on defense, it's going to be CC and Ekholm. Actually, I'm going to make one change for Vegas because of that. I try and coach both teams as if I was playing them. We're going to put Chandler Stevenson out because he's a, a plus three also neutralized the faceoff. So here we go. Chandler's a former uh, Regina Pat. I used to scout for the Pats for 13 years. Super, super good kid. One of my favorites. Uh, from the faceoff, we have a seven. And that is going to be even. So it's going to go to Chandler Stevenson. So he's got the puck. So one for the faceoff. Chandler's going to make a pass. And inside shot for the right winger. So it's going to go inside to Mark Stone. He's going to shoot. It's going to be an 11 and goal one to 12 the blue die is an 11 they're gonna score so i kind of use this in correlation with this just to save the flipping on the cards so mark stone vegas power play goal vegas is now two for two on the power play stone puts it in from stevenson inside one to 12 vegas's second goal and there's only one assist on the play Time of the goal is going to be four cards, and my last two add up to 17. So four cards and 17 will be at 217 of the period. And right now, as you can see, it is now three to two for the Edmonton Oilers as Vegas scores on the power play. A bad penalty by Janmark. So dry saddle will go off. Nijan Hopkins goes off. We put our third lines back out. Uh, so having Chandler out there is paying off because they're getting the puck, getting shots off. Without him, they would be a plus one on the uh, the face off. And sometimes that's not a great advantage. Uh, so we're going to play two. Oilers still lead. They're still going to play a two one. Here comes the face off. It's going to be a four. And we're even. So it's going to go over to the home right winger. Kessel's got it. And for one four checker again. Opponent defense two. Oilers do have the lead. Trying to protect it. Takes away puck as outside shot. So Fogel can deke one to ten. He's got a good shooting card. So I think we're going to do it. So he is four stars. So we're going to check the last card. I also have a 30-sided die I roll sometimes, but I'm just going to go to this. So a five with a four star is going to be against the opponent. So he is going to go against the opponent. So one to ten, he's going to deke. It's an 18, so we lost it over to Kessel. Here comes Kessel right back. It's going to be opponent defense 10. Takes it away. Outside shot by Fogel. Fogel's going to shoot. The seven is going to go save any player gets control of the puck. So we're probably going to give it back over to Carrier. We're going to pick on this one if we can to get an inside shot. Uh, loose puck, outside shot only, left winger. So Fogel's going to get that outside shot. It's an eight. That's going to be a rebound. Puck comes out for a rebound. Defensive right D if he's a three. Haig is only a two. So... Kulak is going to get the rebound shot, and it's a six. It's going to be a goalie rating. Take a look at Kulak's card. Kulak's going to get a goalie rating. The D-man stepping up. Here's the shot on Aiden Hill, and it's a seven. It's a goal. Kulak Edmonton scores on the rebound. 
Oh my, what a shocker that was. Edmonton regains their two goal lead. Uh, who took the shot now? I, I get brain farts when I do this on camera. Uh, I believe it was Fogel and Bukestad are going to get the assists. And Edmonton Oilers now take a 4-2 lead. It is going to be Kulak from Fogel and Bukestad. And as you can see, I'll also give them uh, pluses. Kessel, Roy, Kerr, Hutton, and Haig will get their first minus of the hockey game. Time of the goal is going to be three, six, seven cards. And the last two add up to 26. So we check seven cards, 26. It's going to be at 426. Three goals in the first what do we have? First four minutes of the hockey game and Edmonton Oilers now lead this game by the score of four to two. They have a two goal lead from the faceoff. Here we go. It's going to be a two and we're even. So it's going to go to the home right defense. Haig picks it up. Still playing two on one. Passing E. Loose puck. Outside shot. Fogel. He's going to deke again. He's a three penetrating and he's got four stars. So let's check the last card. It's a 14 and the four stars, one to 14, it's the opponent. So he's gonna go against Kessel, one to 10, and it's a 15. So he loses it over to Kessel and Kessel brings it right back. Uh, opponent defense, nine. This is gonna be an outside shot. Fogel, Fogel's going to shoot number four, kicked away, puck goes over the right defense, Haig's got it, brings it back, Pony defense six is going to be an outside shot for the left winger, Carrier's got it, he is a four and against a one, so that's one to 14, so he's going to uh, penetrate, he's five stars, so what we need is one to 20 on the last card, it's a 24, so that is going to be against the left D. So Carrier is going against the left D. Kulak is a 2. So 4 against a 2 is 1 to 12. Carrier is deacon 1 to 12. He does. He shoots number 6. Kicked away. Anybody gets control of the puck. Just the first shot of the period for the Vegas Golden Knights. And we are going to have to change the lines so I'm just going to see who's going to come out for Edmonton before I distribute the puck. And I think what we're going to do, bring out the Vegas Golden Knights. Anybody they want gets control of the puck. And second line is going to be Smith, Carlson, and Marcheseau. So uh, where do we want it to go? We want to play against somebody. We're going to give it to Ekholm. We're going to go against the two defense. Oilers, uh, they're going to go to 2-2. Two, two. They're down two goals. Do they want to do this? The only problem with 3-3 three, three is Martinez gets the puck. It's going to be a chance. They got Kane and Drysaddle who can score. They are down two goals. Uh, yeah, Vegas has got to try and crank it up, I guess. We're seven minutes into the third period. They're going to be a 3-2. Edmonton's 2-2. Two, two. So here come the Oilers. It's going to be opponent defense three. Uh, inside shot for right winger. Intimidate with the left defense. Martinez will on Yamamoto. And it's a 15. He's not going to do it. Kyler Yamamoto with the shot. It's a three. And it's going to be over to the right winger. So Yamamoto is not successful on his shot. And it brings it over to Riley Smith. They're going to be three on two. Lose to the opponent. Puck goes over to Vander Kane, two on two. Loose puck, outside shot, only right winger. Riley Smith's going to shoot from the outside. It's a five. That is going to be a goalie rating. So Riley Smith on the outside shot. That is just their second shot of the period. It's going to be a goalie rating on Stuart Skinner. So here's Skinner's card. The roll is a three, goal one to 15. The blue die is a two. Riley Smith scores on an outside shot. Vegas has made it four to three. Riley Smith, outside goalie rating, puts it in. Uh, let's just see who's going to get the assist here. Center fees a four. Carlson will get one assist. And right D, if he's a two, Theodore will get the other assist. 
So a huge goal there. Riley Smith with the goal from Theodore and Carlson. That will wipe out their minus. Theodore and Martinez are now plus one. Dry settles line. Gets a minus. Ekholm Cece are now a minus one. Time of the goal is going to be 13 cards in and 32 on the timer. So 13 cards, 32. It's going to be at 8.32 of the third period. It is now 4-3 Edmonton. Here we go from the face-off. Um, roll the die for the face-off, and we have a 1. So it's going to be even. Puck is going to go over the left defense. Martinez has got it. Should the Oilers go 1-4 checker, I think. Uh, we're going to stick stick with what they got. They got such good firepower out there. Um, so it's going to be three on two. It's going to be a good thing I didn't. Uh, point of defense, seven. Outside shot only for Cody Cece. He's going to shoot. It's an eight. That's going to be a save. Possible deflection. They are going to deflect it. It's going to go to three, which is going to be the center for the deflection. Leon Dreisaitl. Here comes the deflection number four. It's not going to be in net. It is a goalie rating with a star. That only works on the power play. So anybody they want gets the puck for Vegas. Um, we want to pick on a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, Evander Kane, 2-B. They're going to try and go for the penalty. It's kind of risky. Yeah, we're going to go for the penalty. Here comes Roddy Smith, three on two. Passing B. Inside shot for center. Timonate left defense. Ekholm will. One to seven. It's a three. So he will take it away and change the defenseman. So that means we're halfway through the period. Ten minutes to go. Four, three Edmonton. Game seven. Uh, loose puck. Possible breakaway. Oilers. Right winger. If he's a four, Riley Smith is a four. He's already scored once. Here's the shot by Smith. It's an eight, which is going to be a rebound. And rebound comes out. Offensive left D, if he's a three, Martinez is a one. So he's not going to get the rebound. Cody Cece picks it up. Brings it right back two on two. It's going to be opponent defense two. Takes away puck as inside shot. Intimidate with the right winger. Yamamoto one to five. Martinez, I uh, better just in case. He's going to intimidate. Takes puck away. Possible penalty. I hope he doesn't. It is going to be a penalty to Yamamoto. I shouldn't have done it. Martinez only scores on a five. And Yamamoto is going to go to the penalty box for Edmonton. On the good side, though, it is the third Vegas power play. So that means their good unit is not going to come out. But it also means the good unit for the Oilers is not going to come out to kill it. Um, I think we're going to bring out Broberg and Nurse to kill it for the Oilers on defense. And up front, Connor McDavid is a plus two on faceoff. We got Kane at one to eight. He's a two defense. And again, I'm going to use the defense in the brackets for the penalty kill for super advanced. So Bukestead's a one to eight. He's a plus one. Um see what else we have here and that looks about we've got ryan's i don't know if i'm gonna skate so i'm just gonna keep those guys out there keep some high intimidators and for them this will be the second line for vegas <coughs> coming out and i think we will put kessel on the point and cotter's got a great shot we're going to put Marchessault on the point, put Paul Cotter on there also. He played on the fourth line. They called him up for some offense. So here we go. We're going to go to the power play for Vegas after the Yamamoto penalty. And here we go. From the faceoff, we roll. Oops, just lost the dice. 15. So it is going to be uh, plus three. And three, that makes them a six. It's going to be a plus four on the power play. And a 15 plus 4. Whoa, they're lucky. Superior, anybody they want gets the puck. We're going to give it to Marchessault. So he's going to deke 1 to 13. Marchessault's so going to deke. He doesn't do it. It's a 15. Puck goes to Broberg. He is going to ice it. So puck iced. Right D gets control. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
going to flip a card. Right D gets it. Broberg will ice it again. He does. Right wing is a 12. One, two, three, four, five. So you do one for the card, four for the icings for a total of five. Right winger, if he's a 12, and McDavid, since I'm using the bracket defense, two would be a 12, three is a 13, and four is a 14. So McDavid picks it up. Now he can skate and then ice it. I think I'm going to try... Yeah, I'm going to try and skate with McDavid. 1 to 14. Here comes the roll. It is a 10. So 1, 2, 3. We're going to flip a card because we went over. And now I think I'm just going to ice it and get this penalty over. Puck iced. Outside shot only for the right D. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Outside shot for Kessel. He can take advantage of the stars. Um, what is he going to do? Um... He can shoot. He can pass. I think he's going to try and pass using the power play passing. Yeah, he's going to make a pass. So the pass is made. Yamamoto comes out. Passing J. Inside shot for Cotter. So Cotter is going to get the inside shot. It's a three. Goal one to 16. My roll is a 19. What a save by Stuart Skinner. Oh, Cotter gets absolutely robbed. Vegas does not tie the game up. Faceoff will be in the Edmonton end. And we did have a change card. So that is the end of that line. We're going to bring out McDavid, Nugent Hopkins, and Hyman. Nurse and Bouchard are coming out for Edmonton to finish. And Carlson Smith, Cotter is going to go off. And Marcheseau will go off. Here comes the top line for Vegas. Eichel, Stone, and Stevenson. Kessel go off. The Demon will go off. So face off in the Edmonton zone. Vegas is going to play 3-2. Edmonton, this is where... Ah, do I play a 2-1? I think I'll play a 2-1 till about five cards. Maybe I'll even mark it 2-3-4. Yeah, and then I'll go to a 1-1. One, one. So I'll just put a little marker in here. Just a reminder for myself to switch it up. So here comes the face off. Uh, from the draw, number seven, it is going to be a plus one for Chandler Stevenson. So superior left winger is going to get the puck. Stevenson's got an outside shot. He's going to pass, and he loses it. Any defensive player picks up control of the puck. We are going to pick on, we got a two for Eichel. The only problem is if you give the puck to McDavid, you don't get his shot. But we do have good shooters here, and everybody else is high. The other thing I like to do, too, is give it to the D-man. Yeah, maybe we'll give it to Bouchard because he can't hurt me with the shot where Eichel can. So Bouchard's going to get it. We're going to be playing two on two. And opponent defense one. Takes away puck, intimidate the right defense. Uh, we're going to let McNabb shoot. And it's a seven and kicked away. Puck goes over to the left winger. Here comes Nugent Hopkins. Opponent defense 10. That is Stone is going to take it away. Outside shot for Stone. It's a six which is going to be save over to the right winger. So Stone lets the shot go. And here comes the Oilers. Zach Hyman's got it. Opponent defense, nine. That is going to be takes away puck. Outside shot for Chandler Stevenson. Stevenson's going to shoot. It's an eight. So it's going to be save rebound. Rebound comes out. Left winger if he's a two. Chandler Stevenson, he is a two. He's going to get his own rebound. Number two, goalie rating with a star, which means a save face-off in the Edmonton end. The face-off is going to be a seven, and that's going to be plus one. So Puck's going to go right back to Chandler off the face-off. He's going to make a pass, and he loses it over to Hyman. Hyman brings it back two on two, passing F for the Oilers. Outside shot for the left winger, Nugent Hopkins. He's going to go against Stone. Four on four is one to eight. So he's going to make a pass. Passing L. Inside shot to any player. And it has to go to Hyman because McDavid's already had a turn. So with the fours, you got to rotate them. So Hyman is going to get that inside shot. Shot by Hyman, number six. It is going to be a goalie rating. So the Oilers looking to go ahead. Here's the shot by Hyman. Goalie rating on Aiden Hill. It is a seven. It's a goal. Zach Hyman puts it in for the Edmonton Oilers. 
from Ryan Nugent Hopkins. And any player with a six, so it's going to be from McDavid also. Edmonton picks up their fifth goal. Inside goalie rating, Aiden Hill can't stop the onslaught. The Oilers now have a two-goal lead with five cards to go in the hockey game. So this goal is going to come at last two cards here are 17 and 6 or 23. 16, 23 is the time of the goal. Huge goal. And McDavid, sorry, it will be Hyman scoring. That's his second of the hockey game from McDavid, his third point, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. That line is now a plus two, plus three for the Demons. Stevenson, Stone, McNabb and Peter Angelo are minus three on the evening. So here we go. It's five to three. Face off coming up. Oilers are going to go to a one one. So I can move Edmonton to a one one. Vegas is going to stay at a three two. I always find if I have that three four checkers, you always seem to take a penalty. Maybe I'll try it anyway. Uh, so we've got five cards left. Five to three. Edmonton Oilers. This is game seven. From the face-off, number 17, plus one, inferior right winger. Hyman picks it up. They are now going to be going one on three. So one on three, loose puck, outside shot only for right D. Peter Angelo is going to shoot. It's a 10. It's a goalie rating. Peter Angelo trying to get him back in the hockey game. Goalie rating on Skinner, five and a six will be in. It's a four save face-off. So a big save there by Skinner faceoff is a two, which is going to be home right D. So Peter Angelo gets the faceoff. He's going to make a pass. He does. Passing K, inside shot for Jack Eichel. Vegas not giving up. Inside shot. Eichel is a goalie rating. Here comes Jack Eichel coming right in. He's going to shoot on Skinner. Uh, a six is a goal. So right back, Vegas. Eichel from Peter Angelo. We're getting a ton of goals here in the last little bit. Inside goalie rating. Vegas now makes it 5-4. to four. Uh, The other assist center is a 3. Stone, is he a 4? Yes, he is a stone. I mean a 4. Nobody else is a 7. So Mark Stone will get the other assists. So Eichel from Stone and Peter Angelo. Take off one of the minuses for those guys. It is now a 5-4 hockey game. We have five cards left, number 21. Uh, I think I messed up on the last timing. Uh, we'll call that 1641, and it is now 5-4 for the Edmonton Oilers. From the faceoff, here we go. It's a seven. It's going to be one. It's going to go over to Chandler Stevenson. We're going to be going three on zero. Passing A. Inside shot center. Timidate with right defense. Bouchard's going to intimidate one to three. It's a 12. Eichel has another inside shot. Three, four, seven, and a 10. He's going to score on. This is a shot by Eichel. It is a seven. He gets another goalie rating. Oh, man. We're going to have super dramatic stuff happening here. Here comes Eichel with the shot. Goalie rating on Skinner. It's a six. It's a goal. Jack Eichel has tied this hockey game. The Stanley Cup champs stay in it. Eichel puts it in. Inside goalie rating. Vegas has tied this game at five. Maybe the Oilers should have went into the shell. Uh, one assist only. I think it was a, a passing A too, wasn't it? Um, I forget. I sort of lose my track here. Uh, it's going to be from Chandler Stevenson, who's going to get the assist. He's a six. Any player is a six. There's just one assist. So Eichel from Chandler Stevenson. That erases their minuses. Second of the game for Eichel. We are now tied at 5-5. Five, five. We're looking at overtime. Oilers going to a 3-2. Does Vegas just stay at that 3-2? They might as well. They've been, let's run and gun it for the ending. 5-5 five, five hockey game. Not very many cards left. Face off number 12. Plus one and for your left defense. Nurse has it. Now it's three on two against the three on two for both teams. 
possible breakaway for Edmonton. This is a wide open Wild West game. Um, breakaway, right winger, if he's a three, Hyman is a three. Hyman's going to step in. It's a nine. Hyman's got a goalie rating. So Hyman steps in. He lets the shot go. Can he break this tie? Goalie rating on Aiden Hill. He needs a seven. He rolls a 12. It is an inside shot. Penalty one to eight on his card. We roll the nine. So it's just save face off in Vegas's end from the draw. Edmonton does not score. Number five, Vegas is going to win it. It's going to go to superior left D. McNabb's got it three on two. You don't want him to have it three on two. Oh, but it's a possible breakaway for Vegas. It is going to be left D. He's got the puck, so you got to go right D if he's a two. Peter Angelo does. He's got a breakaway. He's going to shoot. Number 11, goalie rating, Peter Angelo. Can the Vegas Golden Knights pull off the incredible comeback? Here comes the shot on Skinner. Goalie rating number five. It's a goal. Alex Peter Angelo. I can't believe the onslaught of goals in this period. Puts it in. Breakaway goalie rating. Look at all the goals in this period. Peter Angelo puts it in. Breakaway goalie rating. Vegas is six goal. They now lead it six to five. Eichel is going to get one of the assists. Second assist is going to go to Stone. So Peter Angelo puts it in from Eichel and Stone. And they all get pluses. Now they're on the good side. McDavid's line is now minus one. And it is 6-5. Time of that goal. Two cards left. Now that's up to 14. 18-14. I forgot to put the time of the last goal. We'll go 17-39. And right now... Vegas has come back with a huge comeback. Skinner is now tired. Do we pull him? Jack Campbell's our backup. I don't think I want to put him in. We're going to leave Skinner in tired. We've got two cards left. Do we pull the goalie now to get... Well, I do have a host rule in the last three cards you put out anybody you want. So we're going to use that host rule. Dry settles coming out. Nothing else just to take the face off. He's going to play right wing. Hyman is probably going to come out as the extra attacker. Uh, Bouchard and Nurse will stay out there for Vegas. Um, Riley Smith. Yeah, we're going to take Eichel off. We're going to put Stevenson. Riley Smith is a four. He is going to come out. Eichel might be a little pissed at that move, but. We have 4-4. Four, four. We're going to stick with that. So Vegas is going to go to a 1-0. They lead it 6-5. Edmonton's going to go to a 3-3. Three, three. If they win the faceoff, they're going to go to the pull on the goalie. From the draw, number 12. We have 3 against 3, so it's even. 12 is visitor right D. Bouchard's got it. We're going to pull Skinner. So Skinner comes out. Zach Hyman's the extra attacker. We're going to read from the power play card. Inside shot for center, intimidate with left defense. So McDavid has a big chance. McNabb can goon him. One to ten, he will. It's a four. Takes the puck away. Last card is going to be a one on three. One on three, opponent defense, seven. Bouchard takes it away. Outside shot by Bouchard. It is a six. Loses it to the left winger. That is the end of the hockey game, folks. What a wild and crazy third period. Edmonton scores one. Wow. I'm probably going to have to mark these off with a highlighter. Edmonton scores once, twice, three times in that third period. Vegas scores one, two, three, four, five goals. Yeah, so Skinner would have been... Fatigued earlier on. I probably just missed it in all the excitement of the game. Shots on goal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten shots by the Oilers in that third period. One, two, three, four goalie ratings for Vegas. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shots by Vegas. One, two, three, four, five goalie ratings. They didn't have any goalie ratings the whole hockey game or the first two periods. So shots are going to be 30 shots for them, five goalie ratings. 
Oilers, 27-37 shots. They come through with 11 goalie ratings. So Skinner played 58 minutes, 30 shots, and 24 saves, 6 goals against. He had 5 goalie ratings against them. How many did Vegas score? Uh, no, no. 1, 2, 3, 4. So he only stopped one of five. Hill in that sort of Skinner of the playoffs of last year. Shots on goal, 37. Five goals against 32 uh, saves. And 11 goalie ratings. How many did he stop? Edmonton, one, two, three. So he stopped eight of 11. Make sure I got all those goal scores in here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm missing a couple. Uh, what do we have? Stone from Stevenson. And what else did I miss here? Riley Smith. Did he get his goal? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we had Stevenson scoring from Eichel on the power play. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the three stars at tonight's hockey game. Um, man, maybe Peter Angelo for the game winner gets the first star goal and assist. Actually, Jack Eichel had four points. We're going to give Eichel the first star. He had four points. McDavid and actually Hyman had two goals and three assists. We'll give him the second star. And we're going to have to give it to Peter Angelo with the game winning goal. Six to five is how this is going to end. Man, what a hockey game. Uh, that's all for now, folks. I'll talk to you later. Sort of glad I did this short video. Not so short, uh, but a fun ending.